Yes. What happens if you stay out of the country for more than six months? Yes. When you stay outside Qatar for more than six months, it means your residence permit or what we call the QID will be marked lost in the system. What could be the reason? Someone would ask me, what could be the reason? The reason being that if you stay outside the country for more than six months, you'll be violating law number 21 of 2015, which regulates or which is regulating the exit and entry of all people into Qatar. So that's why it's always very important as you exiting or as you getting out of the country, uh, you make sure you renew your ID or you make sure it is valid until maybe eight months. I think that is better in any way. Most of us, we made so many mistakes, especially when we are going for vacations. And because of that anxiety that we want to go, we even forget the validity of our QID or get the validity of the QID of how long I would stay outside the country. So you find that to some cases, most of you all have got problems home and you're definitely not wishing to, to return back to the country. Okay, but remember, for you to return back to the country, if you stayed outside for six months, that means you need what you call the permission of your employer. He needs to uh, to, to to request for what we call an exception permit into metrash that will enable you to come back into the country and bypass the immigration at one way or the other. Most of the times. I always tell people, let us not try to make these kind of mistakes in any way. As we're exiting, let us make sure at least our ID or at least our QID are valid at a given period of time in one way or the other. So definitely it comes a little bit crucial for you at one moment of time that you, you have no issue. Most of us, we've gone to vacations and, you know, we've been terminated from vacation, you know. With our QIDs are being cancelled from there. So you find all those kind of scenarios will definitely come in to answer your query, to answer how much period or what is the exact period that you're supposed to stay outside the country or outside Qatar if you have what we call a valid QID or if you have a QID and definitely you need to take it home. Hope I've tried to share something for you. By the way, don't forget to subscribe. And something that I need to let you know, is uh, when we come to these countries, it's just an opportunity. It's not our right. So we need to follow the law. We just need to follow the law and know what the law wants. And that is all. Otherwise, if you don't follow the law, then that means you'll be inviting more problems to yourself. And if try so much to see that you don't have a lot of problems with your QID, a lot of problems, entanglement cases, put on your QID. Hope I've tried to share something for you. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.